Videos of Mountain View High School students using the N-word have circulated online, and now some parents have called for more diversity and inclusion curriculum at the school. Fox 5's Alex Whitler has the story live for us tonight from Gwinnett County School Headquarters. Alex? Good evening to you, Tom and Courtney. I spoke to a parent who says she was disappointed to see students in those videos that her daughter recognizes. She says that it shouldn't have been recorded, let alone said, and she believes these instances can be prevented. These days, y'all, they need to go back and pick some cotton. Do not post that. They would make you tell my off. Do not. Immediate acknowledgement that what was said in that video could cause a firestorm of reaction. Rude. With all my friends, you won't even have me back. Like, what the f? Let me send it. I don't care. Two videos of Gwinnett County Public School students making racist comments have infuriated their peers and other parents. Now, some parents, like Kamisha Hayes, say they want the school to invest in cultural competency training. What I've heard about not wanting those programs in the school is to ensure that children don't feel bad about the past or they don't, they aren't, you know, hurt about the past. But what about the, the past that's in the future right now and that's in the present right now that are hurting these kids? Hayes says her daughter showed her the videos this week. At that point, school leaders had already been notified. It's just created a hostile environment. And this is not an isolated event, unfortunately. An alert on the Mountain View High School website from the principal says in part that school leaders are aware of these videos and are investigating and will take the sternest action authorized by law against anyone who engages in disrupting our school. It ends by saying, please know that we are taking this very seriously as racism has no place in our school. That message also warns anyone who retaliates against the students in the videos. Is that enough to you? No. It's not enough. But to me, it sounds kind of reactive because the email that came out came out mostly the first paragraph did say that we're addressing it. But to me, if you read the email, it reads more in part that this email is because of the retaliatory acts of students. Bullying, they have a zero tolerance. You know, if you get into a fight, you can be expelled. So to use a racial slur um, in a video, it seems to me zero tolerance. They need, yeah, they, they probably do need to be expelled. The videos are less than 10 seconds each, but Hayes says she hopes the students who created them learned a lifelong lesson. And if I had a message for them, it would be, don't be sorry that you got caught. Be sorry and have a change of heart for that, so that we all can have inclusion. Gwinnett County Public Schools is the largest in the state, and I just want to point out that it's pretty diverse, too. Here's a breakdown of the numbers from 2020. About 65% of the population then was evenly split between black and Latino students. Another 20% are white, 11% are Asian or Pacific Islander, and 4% identify as multiracial. Reporting in Gwinnett County, Alex Whitler, Fox 5 News.